New tonight, this is a different kind of simulator that shows students the dangers of driving under the influence. But in this particular case, we're not talking about alcohol. This gives teens and college students the simulated experience of driving after smoking marijuana. Tonight, our Mary Mills shares a lesson that could have a lasting impact and maybe even save some lives. I'll just a seat if you need to. Sean Warner getting behind the wheel to see what it's like to drive impaired. I give you one joint speed limit here is 35. Sean's not high and he's not going anywhere. He's in an Arrive Alive simulator on the Indiana Purdue University campus in Columbus. Oh, the brake is really sensitive. The simulator, one of the first to show what it's like to drive stone. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely swerving. Sean also used the simulator to drive drunk. When I was driving drunk, I went this way a little bit and then I started like really drifting, so I had to cut it hard and then. I was still drifting for a while after that. The main difference is when you're under the influence of alcohol, your eyes start to shut down, you get tunnel vision, um, and then it's the polar opposite. When you're under the use of marijuana, you get the bright white lights. Okay. Center this wheel. Jamie Boswell also went for a spin. And at point one one. First, driving drunk. Oh, I almost hit a person. Then high, which didn't last long. I was only going around like 20 or 25 and it felt like I was going really fast. She and Sean say their test drives were eye-opening. Because a lot of people think it's okay to drive while high. They don't think it's that big a deal from what I've seen. And if it's like that, it's definitely really hard. So I tried the simulator. I have to say it seemed a bit exaggerated in its movements. But the whole point here is really to give students a chance to see what it's like before getting behind the wheel and driving impaired. In Columbus, Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Now, despite a growing movement of states legalizing marijuana, it is still illegal here in Indiana. So you really want to make sure that if you're caught with any amount of marijuana, you could face up to 180 days behind bars. You could get your first OWI offense, and that could land you into jail up to 60 days, and the fine could be $500. Drugabuse.gov shows teens are more likely to smoke marijuana than cigarettes. And marijuana vaping has actually gone up over the last year for kids in 8th, 10th, and 12th grade. So parents, we want to let you know there are some things you can do at your home so you make sure that your kids are aware and educated about the risk of marijuana use. And we've collected some easy resources for you to go over. Just click this story online at WTHR.com.